In other news now, and, uh, Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan and the former Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi have once again been indicted in the Saifa case by a special court. The two Pakistan Tariq Insaf leaders have uh, pleaded not guilty to their involvement in any offence. Uh, they are accused of misusing diplomatic cables for political purposes. The two are indicted earlier, were also indicted earlier on October 23rd in the same case. Uh, Khan's uh, lawyer argued that the proceedings were uh, being conducted in a hasty manner, adding that the PTI had challenged previous verdicts which were issued under the Official Secrets Act in the Islamabad High Court. Last month, after Khan and Qureshi challenged their indictment in the case, the Islamabad High Court declared the trial as null and void and allowed the intra-court appeals in the case. However, the Federal Cabinet yet again approved the summary of holding uh, the jail trial of both politicians following which the trial continued. On March 27, 2022, Imran Khan waved a letter before a crowd in a rally claiming that it was a cipher from a foreign nation that had conspired with his political rivals to have the PTI government overthrown. He did not reveal the contents of the letter nor did he mention the name of the nation it came from. Just one month later, his government was ousted. The new federal cabinet took note of the matter and the probe began. And for the very latest on this political saga, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has the details. Former Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan and the former Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi have been indicted in the cipher case in the Adiala jail just today. Now this is a claim that has been put forward by the public prosecutor. The lawyers for Shah Mahmood Qureshi and Imran Khan have denied uh, them being indicted in the case and say that uh, until they were there in the prison, in the court uh, that is made in the Adiala jail prison, uh, there was no indictment and that there were no signatures done and that they plan on protesting on this tomorrow. Now, as per the details laid out by the public prosecutor, he says uh, that the court has indicted uh, Imran Khan on the charges of misusing a state document and using it for his political gains uh, and compromising and jeopardizing the nature of the document as well. Uh, a charge that has been pleaded not guilty by both Shah Mahmood Qureshi, the former foreign minister, and Imran Khan, the former prime minister. The court has adjourned the hearings until tomorrow, that is Thursday, the 14th of December. Anas Malik, Islamabad, Pakistan, for Beyond World is One.